Okay, so today we're going to learn about page B conditional statements. So very often when we write code, we perform different actions for different conditions. Okay, so I believe we have encountered conditional statements before in our previous classes. So we have discussed what's an if statement, an if and else, um, PHP switch, Okay, so we, we use conditional statements in our code to do the following. So for if statement, it executes some code if one condition is true. If and else executes some code if condition is true and another is false. Okay, and if else if executes different codes for more than two conditions while switch selects one of the many blocks of code to be executed. Okay, so the if statement executes some code if one condition is true, and this is its syntax. So it's like almost the same with what we have learned before in Visual Basic, that we need to have the if keyword followed by the condition, open curly brackets, the code to be executed if the condition is true and then close curly bracket okay for this example okay so have a good day if the current time in r is less than 20 so they use the function date okay so this is already a predefined function in php where it identifies the hour of your system okay so if t which refers to date in R is less than 20, then say have a good day. Okay, so maybe we can write this example here. Okay, so instead of variable, we create a new file. Let's say this is conditional. Conditional.php. Okay, so we'll just copy this one. The one which we had an example about variables just copy the code paste it here and let's delete the paragraph here so yes we're going to also delete this these codes and as well as this okay and you can put a horizontal rule here instead of the conditional statements. Now let's try if we can put an HR here and this instead of this one, you can type localhost PHP beginners and conditional the php which is your php file okay now we have a horizontal rule here okay so conditional statements and let's put another hr here oh sorry okay hr maybe i'll just make it a little larger Sources until control plus plus. Okay. Okay. So let's put another HR here, and let's. Create another age or header like h2 if what is that the php if statement okay so php and then close it okay so supposing we're going to just copy this one. Okay. So we have 
So we have our example here wherein we're going to identify if today is morning okay, of or the R is less than 20. Okay. So let's say um, dollar say dollar say time and equals to date. The date is a PHP predefined function, so we cannot change it in any other words or names because it has to look for a function which is named date. Okay, and then we're going to identify the R. Okay, and okay, so if then the time, if the time is less than 20, then what happens? So let's echo something. Okay, so um, have a good day. Yes, I S. Okay, and then close it. Save and go to your browser and refresh. Okay. So now we have run a simple example here wherein it's going to identify if the time here is less than 20, then it's going to say have a good day. But let's say if the time here is less than less than five. Okay. So if the time is less than five, oh no no no. So it should be true. Okay. Because if we do not put an else statement here, it's not going to output anything. It's too early. Save. Okay. So why didn't it output anything? It's because it's looking for a time which is less than 5. And now it's like 11. So it, it didn't find a time which is less than 5. But if we're going to put 12 here, or like 13 for 1 o'clock. Okay. So it's morning. It's late in the morning. Okay, save and run. Okay, that's for the PHP if statement. How about for the next? Okay, the PHP if else statement. So let's just copy this one. Okay, so just copy the H2. Let's put an H. Okay, I'm just going to type it so that you can follow. HR and then another H2. And we'll copy this one. I just put an HR here to separate between the page with if statement and another subtopic, which is page with the if else statement. Okay. So here, the syntax is if the condition is true. Okay. So this will be the code that will be executed. Else, this is the condition which will be executed. So this one, the first one that we have, we do not have an else statement, only it's going to run if the condition is true. This one, the if else, it's going to run if the condition is true as well as if the condition is false. And this is its syntax. For example, okay, so let's write another PHP tags here and then close it and okay, save okay let's just borrow our variable again okay okay so again guys variable changes uh, so if there are changes every time you update your code then it will run time in this portion and here although we use another we use a variable name which is still time 
and we're going to use it again on the same page still it would run because it has finished executing this code and it is now executing this line of code okay so if okay so if the time just like there the example which you had here if the time is less than 20 then what will happen so it's going to echo something here okay have a good day or I'll just say good day else meaning if the time is not 20 or not less than 20 it could be beyond 20 then it's going to echo something else it's like echo good night okay let's try to check okay so we have another example here okay so the if else statement so here it has identified that the time is less than 20 because it's still 11:29 in in the morning okay, so it tells us that it's still daytime okay so that's the page three if else statement okay another one is here if you have many conditions okay page three the if else if else statement executes different codes for more than two conditions okay so maybe we can just copy this one from here okay so we're going to change this to this title and here we still have to use the same the same variables which is time Okay, following the hour and if okay so an example here if the time is less than 10 okay let's say good um, good morning okay okay so this is our if statement else if Okay, we can just copy this one for our conditions. Okay. Else if the time is less than 20, then let's say good day. Okay. Else. Okay, so else, meaning if the time is not less than 10, if the time is not less than 20, it could be like if the time is like 21, 22, and so on, then it would tell us that echo night okay so let's check okay so it's still good morning however if we're going to change if we're going to change our variable supposing let's say um, time is time is let's say um, 2010 let's say it's 21 Okay, so meaning it's going to look for a time with a value of 21. So it is going to fall right here because 21 is not less than 10, 21 is not less than 20, and 21 would fall on our else clause. 
Okay, so it's going to refresh. So that's why it tells us good night. Okay, so that's how you play with your codes. Okay, but now we're going to set it to, I'm just going to comment this one to set it to our real example. Okay, so some more. The switch. Okay, so we will have this one in our next example. So thank you for listening and then we can have another another set of video lectures. Thank you.